Hello and welcome to my testing world. This is the first video that I record with my voice, so um, I'm a little bit nervous. But yeah, let's crack on. So I recently saw a video by Xizuma Void showcasing an Enderpearl launcher uh, designed by the Redditor Chesmere or Chesmere or however you pronounce it and um, basically what it does is you throw an ender pearl over here and the slime blocks cause the ender pearl to throw, uh, go m way further in fact 75 blocks which is 50% more than you get from normal ender pearl throw um, and the people in the comment section were going ham, like, uh, ah, couldn't you go and make some more platforms to extend your jump infinitely, or how does this work? Um, so, yeah, as you can see here, I went ahead and uh, tested it out. And what I actually found out was very interesting, um, because, yes, it actually does work, you can uh, rebounce the ender pearl um, from different bouncing platforms, but somehow it seems that the um, velocity of the ender pearl uh, is getting lost over the way. So um, I can just show you how this thing works. You stand right in the middle here, align yourself into the edge so that you're really walking straight forward point at the most center as, as possible and a bit to the top then just hold right click and walk onto the pressure plate easy going right, so let's go why doesn't this work? Oh. Yeah, of course, because I'm in creative mode. Okay, now it should work. <laughs> Let's see. Line up yourself. Put yourself back right in at the top. And, and you see the ender pole is going flying over. And, and you, s uh, you see the, all the jumping pads extending. Um, and we'll land right now over here. So we, you see, we traveled this very far distance in just with, with just one ender pearl. So as you can see, that uh, it uh, actually works uh, going on throwing, rebouncing the en ender pearl, but it isn't very practical nor very cost efficient c uh, since you launch less than um, the amount of the first throw with three more platforms so if you're really short on these little <laughs> bouncy blocks just don't build this um, I actually only built it because people were screaming for information and um, well I also myself thought about this when I saw this first but as you can see here we have the um, the range of each of the bouncing platforms and you see that it goes down all the time and for all of you who want to test this out for yourself um, I'll show you the amount of ticks that you need to uh, rebound your ender pearl. Uh, one thing, one thing to notice though is that you um, have to lower the third s uh, bouncer. Oh well, the second depends on how you count. Uh, you have to lower it one into the ground. Um, just because the timings wouldn't fit and you would either uh, 
land on the platform and then get bounced up or you get glitch through it and land underneath it or something and that you d you don't want that so um yeah that's all uh, that's all there is to it and thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon